Hi, this is Logan McCoy. I'm the Vice President of Services here at CCB Technology. Today we're going to be looking at one of the best ways that you can and should be protecting your Microsoft 365 environment. And the reason for this is because hackers are targeting your user's inbox more than ever. This is shown by the simple data point that 93% of breaches begin with some type of phishing attack. Again, 93%. And another recent study showed that 98% of organizations that currently have Microsoft 365 are actually harboring or have malicious emails inside their users' mailboxes. Again, 98%. Now, nothing may have happened with those, but they're actually in your environment, in your tenant. So it's easy to see from these two data points why email has easily become the number one target for hackers. And it's because one, the ease of which they can actually gain access, but then also the power that they can wield once they have it. And in a financial perspective, what this amounts to is that in the US on average, a data breach costs an organization almost $4 million. Now these types of attacks come in a variety of forms. It can be a spear phishing, a domain impersonation, business email compromise or BEC, and even things like an account takeover. And those are just to name a few of them. But what all of these point back to, both from the data points and these different types of attacks that are out there in droves, is that we would highly recommend, if you have not looked into this yet, to really look into securing your Microsoft 365 environment. And one of the best ways to do this is by implementing a solution that helps block these types of threats from ever happening. Now, one of the solutions that we recommend that you see up here on the screen that I'm sharing out is called Barracuda Essentials. And what's here is what they call their total email security suite. Now, the reason why they call it total is because they really try to include anything and everything under the sun that's currently available from a security perspective, as well as from a backup perspective. So, for example, they have things from a base security standpoint of inbound and outbound spam filtering. They have things from an ATB or an advanced threat protection as well. They do also have a cloud to cloud backup. So if you want to back up your inbox or your exchange, if you want to back up OneDrive and SharePoint and Teams, they have a great and granular cloud to cloud backup solution. If, you have an or if you're an organization that needs to adhere to some type of compliance, whether it's HIPAA, PCI, whatever it might be, they have a great solution in here as well from an archiving perspective, all built right within. And they also have what's called Fishline, which is their security awareness training program. So if you've used other solutions out there, for example, like Know Before, this is very similar to that, functions very well. And the nice thing about this is it's all built within this solution already. But what I'm going to be focusing on today is Barracuda Sentinel, which you see here kind of right in the middle on the left side here. Now, Barracuda Sentinel is a comprehensive artificial intelligence, or AI as we'll call it, real-time defense solution that protects against business email compromise, spear phishing, account takeover, all those types of attacks that I noted earlier. And it does this by learning about your organization and by learning about your employees and about how they communicate. So let me give you an example within all of that, which as I do that, one of the things you'll notice really quickly is that this is a really simple and easy to use interface. And that's one of the benefits I would say of the Barracuda Sentinel line is that it's both simple and easy to implement. And then it's also the exact same for ongoing management. And most importantly, if an incident does occur for that type of alerting and the ability to take quick and effective action. But in, coming back to that whole aspect where this solution really learns about your organization and then uses that to provide protection, you'll see under here that we have the real-time phishing protection where there were 10 attacks that were detected. Just a quick side note as well, I'm using a demo tenant here. So as you see things from like a date perspective, especially down here where they're all coming from the same day, it's just because this is a demo tenant. But you can see that in this case, it's detected 10 attacks. Now, once you drill down into what those 10 attacks are, you can see who the employees were that were either being impersonated or were being scammed or fished or whatever it might be. It gives you actually a specific breakdown as to what that attack type was. And then if you come over here to the right, you can actually drill in to get more information as to what this looked like. So if I click on more details, it's going to give me a great little analysis that says this email really made an unusual request. And because of that, we blocked it. And then it actually has a copy of the email below. And right within here, you can see if similar messages were being sent within your organization. Another thing that it can do, if we drill down into, say, for example, this one, is it might look and say, oh, 
this email is using language that's not usually associated with how your users communicate, but how it's associated oftentimes with frauds or scams. And you can see from that verbiage very quickly what that might look like, because again, it gives you the actual copy of the email right there. And what this is doing, both from a spear phishing, but also then from an account takeover protection, is that this solution is learning how your employees communicate. So for example, with the CEO, he often or she often communicates in this way and in this fashion. And once the solution starts to learn how they do and don't communicate, it uses that intelligence to say, when it sees an email come across that doesn't align with that, this is something we need to more or less take a deeper look into. And then if in that deeper look, it does start to come across more so that this isn't just a, a random one-off of the CEO just was doing this on their phone and they just had to get it out quickly. This is hitting a number of triggers that our AI solution has that's going to make us block this, right? And in that happening then, what's great, whether we're talking about this from a real-time phishing protection perspective or also from an account takeover perspective, is that it's then sending those alerts to the IT administrator or really to just whoever you designate within the organization. And the reason why that's so good and important is because so often what happens, whether it's where a phishing attack has occurred and someone has actually been breached or an account takeover, has occurred and somebody's actually, they, I mean, they don't own their account anymore, somebody's actually utilizing it, is that when that happens for the longest period of time, most people in the organization don't know about it. Oftentimes the user themselves might not even be aware of that. And it's not until there is truly some type of event, right? The one that we often get a call for at times from clients who aren't using a solution like this, but call us to say, hey, this happened, what do we do? Is they'll call us and say, in this case, the CEO we think was breached actually a lot, little while ago, but we're just now seeing this because 5,000 emails went out from their account doing the, you know, the standard type of, hey, I need a $25 gift card and uh, don't call me because I don't have a phone right now, da, 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 very common fish, right, just as an example. But they weren't aware of that until that email actually went out. And this solution is really trying to prevent, one, that breach from ever occurring, but if something like that does occur, setting off those triggers that help you identify there might be something within this account that we need to take a deeper look at before that real catastrophic event actually takes place. The other thing that it also has within here is what they call domain fraud protection. And what's really great about this is more or less what it's preventing is third parties from maliciously spoofing domains like your domain. And it does this by leveraging the DMARC so that it can gain visibility both to legitimate and non-legitimate emails that are being sent from a particular domain, which enables you then as the customer to make sure that only legitimate emails are being delivered correctly and that non-legitimate are being blocked by those malicious senders. But it gives you a great idea of the total domains that you might have within your environment. I know CCB, for example, has multiple. The domains that are reporting in, the domains that have an enforcement mode that you've enabled, and then you can drill right into that view DMARC reporting. Now again, because this is a demo tenant and we don't have any of those set up, zero is listed here. But most likely in your environment, you would have multiple ones listed all right within there. Now, last but not least, you're actually able to drill down really quickly right into view the actual mailboxes that are being protected by Barracuda Sentinel. And it's really easy to see that here, you've got these 17 users. These are the ones that are being protected in that regard. And right up here, like I was mentioning earlier, is where you can easily go when you're just starting off, because once you do, you're not going to have any data when you're first starting off, to simply come in here under the 365 account. You say, I want to protect my account with Barracuda Sentinel. You want to connect your 365. Oh, that's right. I won't because it's a demo tenant. What it will then pull up is just a nice little Microsoft prompt saying, hey, we need global admin rights. You plug those in. And then from there, you're essentially off to the races and you've got it set up and you're ready to run. And then from there again, the beauty of all this is that it's really doing the work on the back end. So you're only being alerted when you really need to. You're not getting a ton of data, which is so often the issue for many IT people today where it's like, I have a ton of data, it's just too much and I don't even know what to do with it. This gives you good actionable data of which you can then take good effective steps to help both prevent breaches and in the event to quickly mitigate those as, as quickly as possible. So with all of that, I hope that this very, very short demo of Barracuda Sentinel gives you a good idea of what solutions are out there because Barracuda is not the only one and certain things that you should be looking at to help utilize what's coming out there to better protect both your organization and your users and overall your Microsoft 365 tenant. With that, have a great day.